Hello friends, happy Easter. The Lord is risen and He is here with us to stay forever. In the Gospel of next weekend, we will be listening to one of the greatest passages of the New Testament. It encapsulates in a little over 20 verses the whole Christian life. It is Easter Sunday as the passage opens. It begins with two disciples on the road leaving Jerusalem. They are running from where Christ is to be found. They are on their way to a place called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were on the road. They are pilgrims on the road of life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The problem is that at this moment they are going in the wrong direction. The reason Jesus joins them as a fellow traveler, something prevents them from recognizing him. What was that something? Maybe it was their presumption that he was dead. Or was there their preconceived idea of what Jesus should look like? Jesus plays them out a little bit with a total innocent sounding. He asks what they are talking about. He wants to hear their version of what happened. To them, the death of Jesus was the failure of Jesus' mission. Jesus then gives them a lesson in reading the scriptures and shows them that all that happened to Jesus, including his suffering and death, far from being a tragedy, was predetermined and necessary in order to save us. As they reached their destination, Jesus made as if he continued his journey. However, the disciple extended hospitality to the stranger. It is nearly evening time and the day is almost over, they said. So Jesus goes in to stay with them. And these are wonderful words, but it would not have happened if they had not opened their home to him. As they sat down to the table, Jesus, the visitor, unexpectedly acting as host, took the bread, set the blessing over it, broke it, and gave it to them. And in that very act, they recognized in him. Then Jesus disappears. In the light of this experience, the disciples turn back and go back along the road to Jerusalem. This story throws light on many ways of praying. Jesus walks with me, but I hardly notice him at first. Prayers really start when I pour out my heart to him. He listens well. Then he enlightens me. Perhaps a line of Holy Scriptures comes alive to me, or a way to face my problem. My heart becomes lighter. Perhaps it even begins to burn a little as it did for the disciples on the road. The Emmaus scene throws light on what goes on in the Eucharist. After feasting on the world, we celebrate a secret meal with God. Jesus gives us not only ordinary bread, but His very Self. Deep down in that mysterious place we call the heart, we are nourished, giving food for the journey of life. Our God is a self-giving God. All we need to be is empty and hungry enough to receive God with love. Let us stop running away from His unending love for us and let's, turn, and let's turn back to Him where we can find peace and hope. God only wants us to go back to Him and to take the correct road. By doing so, we will be able to recognize in Him and be in union with Him. May God bless you and keep you safe.